what it, what Birdwatch is is a experiment to crowdsource fact checking. What could go wrong? Uh, <laughs> so the idea <laughs> is, uh, and I love this video. The, the the video that they give here is whales are not real. <laughs> They're robots funded by the government to watch us. Thank you, Twitter, for a fun video demonstrating this. And you know, it goes into it talks about how somebody can put out a quote fact like that, and then then it just goes nuts from there before somebody finally says, "Hey, I don't know if this is right." So the idea is, you can go in to birdwatch.twitter.com, and uh, you can create a note on there. You'll see contribute to Birdwatch come from that little three dots. Uh, pop down and there's a bunch of checks in there like you know you know is this a harmful tweet you know what does this mean do you have anything to add to this what's you know you know say something about an official source or something like that and other people kind of vote up your quote factual response to it uh so um again kind of just rolling out so it's a little bit new to that but um i do believe they say you go to birdwatch.twitter.com and like i, I opened it up like a little bit ago i'm just like wait this just looks like a twitter page what are we doing right now so uh but uh, I, I guess oh this is just the this is just kind of the oh this is the interface so now i'm not clear if this means hold on let me go back to just twitter and see what happens because I, I can go to birdwatch but does that trigger like is this already open for everybody now so if i go to let's see the three dots i'm not seeing it just yet over on uh, the twitter side of it but ideally i guess it's going to pop up here it wasn't clear on how that rolled out but um i don't know what do you guys think about the, the you know the crowdsourcing side obviously this is a big problem uh, obviously um hitting its peak probably in the last uh, month or so but uh i mean do you it won't solve all the problems, but it'll probably solve, it'll probably help a little bit, right? Will it solve a problem, <laughs> or will it just take the responsibility away from Twitter? <laughs> I guess that's a question, isn't it? Or will, you know, or hey, will let's you be honest enough? here, guys. That's what they're doing. They're, you know, they don't want to be caught. Well, oh, you banned me no. or who, whatever. No, 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 no. Now it was Birdwatch that did it, not us. Also, you know what I, I mean, also understand, like Twitter can't actively police the entire scale of its site. We're, we're, uh, fire, uh, uh, Facebook has the same problem, right? You can't have eyeballs on everything. AI has been not working. Um, we, we were seeing that misfire how many times, right? So, so adding a human element to this, which also means you have the problem with the human element, but it can raise flags more than just hitting a button to say this is inappropriate and whatever, move on, that could put it in front of twitter to respond to correct uh, you're right you're right i can see that so I don't, or is it just going to perpetuate a bunch of insanity i mean i mean twitter <laughs> but, i mean i'm just thinking the flat earthers like someone that's not very harmful but we all like to poke fun at i yeah. hope you're not a flat earther out there but um i don't sometimes you want to see where the conversation is going to go i mean how do we know whales aren't government funded robots did anyone talk Did to the whale? See? Did they they predate the government according to that video? Ah, <laughs> wait, the whale. So the government is whale funded. Oh. Mm. So yeah, but could you game the system? You know, like John said, a bunch of your flat earther friends all get on, and you know, and what was called and Earth. bird watch it. And say, yeah, he's right, a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Is there going to be some kind of, you know, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, well, look it's at the look at the Save Tony Stark thing that started, where they they were going after NASA and Elon Musk to to rescue Tony. Hmm. Interesting. I don't, I don't know. I, I I'd be interested to see where in how that worked itself out. So um, one one notation on this, according to the Engadget article, um, say with Birdwatch, Twitter will no longer need to rely on its own employees for fact checks. Leads to your point, uh, Kraus. Uh, users will be able to flag viral misinformation. Note: Twitter points out it's not assigning a quote true or false rating like the like other fact checking sites, but instead providing useful context. So. I... <sighs> It's kind of one of those um, another another thread in do your research, I guess. 
So it's uh, it's interesting, especially with the fallout from everything that happened in the last couple of weeks. Um, they're rolling. Of course, this is something that they've been experimenting with for a while now. So just th they're at the next step of this was the um, big thing here. So.